Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. In today's tutorial guys, I have another one and of course this one will help out a lot with parents in controlling the content that their kids consume on their devices. You could use this um, in select circumstances on your very own phone or of course if you have bought your um, child a um, iPhone or iPod, you can use this to control what they do on their device. Sorry. So there is actually a parental restriction on privacy. Um, settings that you can enable once they are enabled it will prevent them from accessing things that they are not supposed to access this could include anything like apps and of course it could be um, games it could be content on the internet in terms of what they search and everything in general so this is a great way to basically keep an eye on what your kids are viewing and control what they are consuming in this digital um, world so the first thing you want to do guys is go ahead and you're going to go to settings once you're in settings, scroll down right here, you should see the option that says screen time. And once you click on screen time, you have a bunch of options that show you on a daily, how much is used. So you can actually consult this graph to see how heavily they are consuming. Yeah, there is a average there. But of course, the key feature here that we're interested in that um, will help you out in controlling what they consume is content and privacy. And it says block inappropriate content. So go ahead and tap. And of course, by default, it's off. So go ahead and turn the feature on. Now that I've turned on content and um, privacy restrictions, you can go ahead and set up some um, content restrictions. So go ahead here, guys. Notice it says iTunes, allowed apps, and of course, content and restrictions. Um, of course, you have all of these settings. You can even password lock these, but of course, you'd have to customize your settings. In terms of app store purchases, you can limit um, app store purchases. So only um, they can only do a download if a password is um, inputted. So you can control that. You can customize allowed apps, meaning only apps that you want to work can work from the device. You can also go into content restriction, which is the key one here. We're going back to this in a minute, guys. And of course, you can see here, you can show what's allowed in terms of um, location services, Bluetooth, basically all the hardware, and certain things that they're allowed to do. In terms of password changes, you can limit that so they can't change passwords and so on. But as I said, guys, in terms of totally controlling what uh, they are allowed to do, you can do it right here in under um, content restrictions. And this is the fun part, guys. So let's get straight into it. Now, in terms of music, you can limit it to explicit, meaning um, no music is allowed that's explicit if you want. And of course, let me show you a simple one here with restricted web content. We're now in um, unrestricted access. But of course, if I go here, and I place this to um, limit adult websites, meaning no adult websites will be allowed. You can set that. Or of course, to be more specific, specific, you can actually allow it only. And check this out, guys. These are the websites that are allowed here. Um, you can add custom ones, meaning you limit the kids only to websites that you want them to be on alone. So you can specify um, very specific websites and they will not be allowed to do anything outside of that in terms of browsing now that it's on let me show you that it's actually working let's go to a website here safari is loaded now this was a website that i had previously loaded notice i cannot access this website it says you cannot browse this page because it is restricted all right and of course it says allow website but of course as i said later on you'd have to um place in a password so they can simply change the setting all right, guys, so as you're back here, as I said, um, you'd have to set a password. I didn't show you that at first. Let me show you that now. So, for example, here, it says um, out here on the screen time settings. In settings, it says use screen time passcode. Simply tap. You're going to enter a password here. You're going to enter your password. It's going to ask for your Apple ID. And, uh, um, and, of course, in case you forget your password, so you can actually set this up. Uh, remember to um, input all of those passwords, and you should be good. In terms of um, verifying your Apple ID. Alright guys, so after you place in your Apple um, passcode, you should see here it says no change screen time passcode, meaning the overall screen time settings is locked, including content and privacy restrictions. So now guess what guys, we can actually um, go back in and anything that you change in here now will require a passcode. So if your kids try to come in here and change anything, it will require a passcode code and of course in case you forget the code later on you can use your apple id to reset we're going to go back to content restriction notice asks for a password now which is what you want 
So never again in terms of having the kids come in here and change in case they were to watch a video like this. They won't be able to change without the passcode, which I just showed you how to set. All right, now that I've entered the passcode, guys, we can go back again. And I'll show you again with the website now. Now, um, even if they try to hit allow access, I just wanted to show you what it looks like without the passcode. And now we have the passcode. So let's see. So let's go here. And of course, I'm going to have this to allow um, allowed websites only. And just to show you, it works. Our um, website, which I haven't gone to before, which I didn't allow. And there you go. As you see here, guys, it's saying for Yahoo. Um, no, because this one I didn't add to the list. Um, it's saying here, you cannot browse this page, yahoo.com. All right. If I hit, if the kid hits allow, he'll have to enter the password and he will hit a wall. Um, if he comes to you and then says they need to access the website, you can actually allow it. I verify that the website is actually a safe website before entering the password. Even if you enter the password and get access to the website, you can always restrict it. So let's go back in here, guys, to the settings. And let me show you now in terms of the restricted um, websites again. So go to content restriction, enter the password. All right, so we're back here. I'm going to go to um, allowed websites and check out the allowed websites here. Um, you can add it manually. So for example, Yahoo just now that was not being allowed. You can um, hit add and add Yahoo. Google can be added too if you want, or you can um, add it or remove it as you see fit. Quite nice. So websites are easy, um, as I said, or maybe you just want them not to go to adult websites. You can always set the limit to adult websites if that's what um, you don't want them to um, access. Let's look at another feature, guys. Let's look at one of the other ones I love so much, which is the feature for movies. You can limit movies as well. Each movie is rated and the rating data is within the movie. So let's say, for example, you do not want your kids to be able to watch anything that's under, um, let's say it's set to allow all now. Let's say PG 13. You can set PG 13, right? Uh, let's say you don't want them to watch any movies at all. You can say don't allow movies, right? Or of course, if you just want unrestricted access, you can um, allow all movies. And of course, if they try to watch anything at all, once you have the PG rating set, you can easily, um, you can easily um, restrict them to that point where they cannot watch anything that you do not allow. So set the PG rating according to their age. Um, you can also do apps. Here it says all apps are allowed. But of course, if you wanted to, let's say, for example, you have a small kid and you can um, set the app. So let's say at four year old, they're playing games. You can set the age limit or, of course, if you do not want them to play games or any particular app. Let's say, for example, you want them only to be using their device at a particular time only for schoolwork. You can actually and um, you can limit their access to apps. Um, this might not work in some situations, but let's say you only want them to do research and they'll only be using the, um, you don't want them to use any apps at all. You can set that to do not allow apps. And let me show you that um, all apps are blocked. All right, so let's try a game. And as you see here, guys, if you look through, all the games are gone. And I had games in here before, but notice now once I say do not allow, none of them show up. And you can see the gaps in my um, apps. All right, so we can go back again. Let me just go back to the settings. All right, guys, so as you can see there, we can do a number of stuff, um, including books. You could do TV shows. Um, you could do music videos or music in general, podcasts, you name it. All right. So you can actually mess around and um, allow the anything that you want. And I've removed the unrestricted access. Notice that all the apps have returned. All right. All right. So earlier when I was showing you about um, the game, under allowed apps, let's say I only allow apps for four plus. All right. Notice when you come down here, guys, all the adult games are gone. So, for example, I had Fortnite somewhere around here. But now that I have restricted it, Fortnite is gone. So um, instead of locking the game where you won't be able to click, it actually only allow those games to show up. So, for example, Fortnite is gone. Let me show you when I remove the restriction that Fortnite has um, returned. So if I go in content and privacy restriction, content restriction, let me just enter the password. All right, now that we have entered the password, guys, I'm going to go back into apps. Sorry. I'm going to go back into um, apps. And if I say here, um, allow all apps, I'm going to show you that Fortnite has returned. Um, 
so let me scroll through and before you was the scene fortnite there you go fortnite is back so when you enable a content restriction you can set the appropriate level so fortnite was not allowed as it was above the four plus level um it will remove every app that's not in the age group when you select the age group so you see that this thing is very thorough apple did a very solid job in implementation of this feature so of course you can mess around it over time you'll learn it for yourself all right guys so um we're in here again you can also limit access in terms of web search content so um you can search explicit language allow or do not allow i like this one guys because um if, if i say um do not allow explicit language if i do not want to type in anything the algorithm actually can um, identify if i type something and they might flag the video so i'm not going to type in anything but let's say you go to google and you type in something explicit it might be any of those keywords something naughty what would happen is that the um, naughty word will be flagged and they will not be able to search as well so although they have access to google and other um, forms of search they can't search for anything that they are not allowed to search for so you can actually test it out yourself you can set it to do not allow go to google and try it searching for something very explicit and you'll find out that once do not allow is selected um, it will block um, you from searching for certain um, terms and again guys um, the features are very um in depth i do not want to go through everything i'm just showing you some of the main ones but you can go through and customize you can test out scenarios when you change settings to make sure that the settings are behaving um, as they should you can think like your children and basically figure out what they might try and then of course go through once you do all of that guys you can also come out here and limit certain apps certain things they can't do like do certain recordings over the microphone and so on so you can customize their device um in depth all right so it's a quite a nice feature um you as i said before you can come back in here you can see what their activities are and what they're spending their time on or if they're spending too many too much time on their device and you can actually um advise them um accordingly all right so guys this has been a detailed tutorial showing you how to set content and privacy restrictions on any iphone or ipad and of course, this is a must know for all parents. And of course, guys, at any time, you can go ahead and change back your password and so on, or modify these settings, and they won't be able to change settings because you have set a pass code. All right, guys, we got a guide from Block Tech Tips showing you how to use the content and restrictions feature on any iPhone and iPad. We got a guide and same by until next time. Bye, guys. Love you.